I'm Pastor Jodel, and this is Everyday Jesus, a very special program made specially for you awesome kids. And I know that every day you're so excited to worship the Lord and get to know Him more by reading His Word. So let's get started today by doing our prayer magnets and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this very wonderful day that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, that we can worship you with all of our hearts and get to know you more by reading your word. Help us, Lord, to apply your word in our everyday lives. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus is the best. So let's all stand up and let's worship with everyday Jesus. Hello kids, it's time to worship the Lord today. So why don't we all stand up?
for we know that you will do it, God. They sing, I will rest. I will rest in your promises. My confidence is your faithfulness. Is your faithfulness. I will rest in your promises. My confidence is your faithfulness. I will rest in your promises. My confidence is your faithfulness. I will rest in your promises. My Shipping with Pastor Gary and Pam? That's very good. So right now, it's time for our Bible story. So please prepare your B1, B2, and B3. B1 is your Bible. B2 is your notebook. And of course, B3 is your favorite pen. So once you have them all ready, then we can now have our rule time. Let's recite. Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, Eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Good job, everybody. Now it's time for us to review all of our Bible stories this week. This week, we have learned about all the things that God gives to us. Last Monday, we've learned that God gives us strength. And we found out in the story of Gideon that it was God who gave him the strength to be able to overcome the enemies of Israel. God said he's a mighty warrior of God. Truly, God has given Gideon strength. Secondly, we've learned that God gives us joy. We've found in the book of Genesis chapter 21 the story of Sarah where God in her old age, has given her a son. In her old age, imagine. And she said everything that we'll learn about it will laugh with her. And so she named her son Isaac. And Isaac means laughter. Truly, God gives us joy. Very good job, kids. Now we've also learned that God gives us Peace. And we've seen it in the story of King Jehoshaphat, where all of the nations were at peace with the king, and so he was able to live and be blessed with a lot of wealth. Because on every side and in all of the nations around him, God has given him peace. God gives us peace. And also, we've learned that God gives us healing. And we saw that in the story in 2 Kings where Naaman was healed from his leprosy 
because he followed the instruction of the prophet Elijah. And so it was so awesome to see that as he obeyed the instructions of God, he was healed totally from that leprosy. God gives us healing. And lastly, we've talked about God gives us forgiveness. And we found out in the story in the book of Matthew chapter 9, beginning with verse 1. Let's read it again. Jesus stepped into the boat, crossed over, and came to his own town. Some men brought to him a paralytic lying on a mat. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. At this, some of the teachers of the law said, This fellow is blaspheming. Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said, Why do you entertain evil thoughts in your hearts? Which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up and walk? but so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, Get up, take up your mat, and go home. And the man got up and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were filled with awe, and they praised God who had given such authority to men. That's our story yesterday. God gives us forgiveness. And so this week, we've learned about all the things that God gives to us. First, in the life of Gideon, God gives us strength. Secondly, in the life of Sarah, God gives us joy. And thirdly, in the story of Jehoshaphat, God gives us peace. Fourthly, in the story of Elisha and Naaman, God gives us healing. And in our story yesterday and that we've read today, in the story of the paralytic man, God gives us healing and forgiveness. Awesome, right? So these are the things that God gives to us. And this week, we've learned all about them. And I hope, kids, that you learned a lot in our Bible story review for today. This is Pastor Jadel. Till next time! Hi kids! I'm Pastor Ruth and welcome to What's the Word? That's the Word segment! Did you enjoy our Bible story? Great! Now, let's learn some more! For our word today, help me find objects. And you have to give me the first letter of that object. Are you ready? Let's begin. Can you find the rope? Can you see it? Where is it? It's there! And the first letter of rope is the letter R. For our second object, can you help me find the dice? Can you see the dice? Great! And the first letter of dice is the letter D. Good job! Can you help me find the pizza? Can you see the pizza? Where is it? Great job! And the first letter of pizza is letter P. Now, let's look for the onion. Can you see the onion? Good job! And the first letter of onion is the letter O. Now, let's look for the ice. Can you see the ice? That's right, it's there. And the first letter of ice is the letter I. So we have P R O V I D E. Our word for today is provide. Do you know what the word provide means? To provide means to give, supply, or repair. So, when we say that your mommy or daddy will provide for your food, it also means that they will give you 
supply you or make sure that you have food to eat. But did you know kids that there is someone in heaven that will provide for us? That's right! God, our Father in heaven, provides for everything we need. God gives and supplies and prepares for whatever we need to live. You see kids, God owns the whole world. He owns the sky, the seas, the land, animals, planets, sun, stars. His riches are far greater than we could ever imagine. And because God has many riches in heaven, He will promise that He will provide for all our needs. Do you need a new laptop or cell phone for online classes? Or a good internet connection? A new tablet? A new home? A new pen? God will provide all these things for you. God is our provider and He is more than able to give us everything that we need. You might ask yourself, why does God provide for all my needs? It's simply because He loves you. Can you say it with me? He loves me. Yes, God loves us so much that He is willing to provide for all our needs. So kids, whenever you need something, always remember that we can ask God to provide it for us because He is our provider. I hope you learned something today in our segment. See you next time!
five, six. There is a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Yes, it's mine. One more time. Five, six. There is a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Yes, it's mine. The next part. The steps goes with the lyrics. I've met the author of my story. And he's mine. Yes, he's mine. From here, five, six, seven, eight. I've met the author of my story. And he's mine. Yes, he's mine. One more time. From here, five, six, seven, eight. I've met the author of my story. And he's mine. Yes, he's mine. From the top. Five, six. There is a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Yes, it's mine. I've met the author of my story. And he's mine. Yes, it's mine. One more time. Five, six. There is a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Yes, it's mine. I've met the author of my story. And he's mine. Yes, he's mine. Now, let's do it with music. Yes, it's mine. Let's sing it again. Keith. There is a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Yes, it's mine. I've met the author of my story. And it's mine. Yes, it's mine. One more time. There is a new name written down in glory. Did you enjoy that, kids? And you did a great job! We would love to see you dance during worship time. And also, you can make a video and share it with us. Till next time, let's worship God together! Hi, kids! I am Pastor Jai, and this is our sing-along segment. And so for today, we are going to sing about God's work. Can you say it with me? God's work. Now, are you ready to sing a song with me? So let us all stand up and let's sing the song together and worship God. God's work is good work. What does he want you to do? God's work is good work. He's given us his plan. God's work is good work. What does he want you to do? God's work is good work. He's given us his plan. He gave us the Bible to show us how to live. He gives power when we pray. He helps us walk with Him. God's work is good work. What does He want you to do? God's work is good work. He's given us His plan. He gave us the Bible to show us how to live. He gives power when we pray. He helps 
counselors walk with him. God's work is good work. What does he want you to do? God's work is good work. He's given us his plan. He's given us his plan. He's given us his plan. Remember, God's work is good work. So that's it for our song for today. We'll see you again. God bless! Hi kids! This is Pastor Pat and it's time for our Did You Know segment. Today, Pastor will be sharing with you three things that we need to know from our today's Bible story. So kids, you know what to do, right? When Pastor says, did you know? You should say, that's right, you should say, what? So kids, did you know that God is the source of everything we need? There is no need to worry, kids, because God is our source for everything. God will provide us food, home, strength, peace, joy, healing, forgiveness, and everything else we need. God does not withhold all these things from those He loves. And that includes you. God loves you and He will provide all these things and much more. God is the source of everything we need. And kids, did you know that God knows what we need? God knows our thoughts and our hearts. He sees what we need and He supplies all of them according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. We have a generous God and you can count on Him to answer your prayers. God knows what we need. And kids, did you know that God wants us to trust Him? We have a strong and mighty God and we can put our trust in Him. He will give us strength to conquer our enemies. He will heal us and make us well. He will give us peace and He will fulfill His promises. So, whatever happens, trust in the Lord for He is with you and He will never forsake you. God wants us to trust in Him. So, those are the three things that we need to know from our Bible story for today. First, God is the source of everything we need. Second, God knows our needs. And third, God wants us to trust in Him. So, I guess that's it for now for our Did You Know segment. I hope that you learned a lot, kids. See you! Hi, kids! I'm so proud of to go. This week, we have learned that God gives us strength, joy, peace, forgiveness, and healing. So, we're going to make Naaman the remind of our lesson. If you're ready, let's get started. For the materials, we need white and blue paper, black pen, and scissors. First, fold the blue paper in two.
Jesus is the best. Till next time. Bye. Hello, kids. I'm Pastor Hazel. It's time for our Bible game. In this segment, we will check your listening skills through our Bible game. I will ask you questions and you will choose which among the choices is the right answer. You can send your answers to any of your kids' pastors or you can comment your answer below this video so that we can give you points for doing a good job. Are you ready kids? Let's start! Question number one. In Judges chapter 6 verses 12 to 16, how did the angel of the Lord call Gideon? A. Son, B, Mighty Warrior, C, Weak Warrior, and D, Gideon. Very good. It's letter B. The answer is Mighty Warrior. The angel of the Lord called Gideon Mighty Warrior. Question number two. In Genesis chapter 21 verses 1 to 7, how old was Abraham when he received Isaac, his son, from God? A. About 50 years old, B. About 200 years old, and C. About 20 years old, D. About 100 years old. Very good! It's letter D. The answer is about 100 years old. Abraham was about 100 years old when he received the Isaac, his son, from God. Question number 3. What is the name of the king who followed God's command and received peace in his kingdom on every side from God? A. King Jehoshaphat B. King Asa C. King Ahaziah D. King Jehoram Very good kids! It's letter A. The answer is King Jehoshaphat. King Jehoshaphat followed God's command and received peace in his kingdom on every side from God. Question number four. Fill in the blank. Naaman received healing from blank. A. Elisha. B. God. C. Elijah. D. Gehazi. Very good. It's letter B. The answer is God. Naaman received healing from God. Question number five. Through or false, Jesus forgives and erases all of our sins. A. True. B. False. Very good. It's letter A. The answer is true. Jesus forgives and erases all our sins. Wow! You did a great job, kids! Don't forget to send your answers to any of your kids' pastors. Or you can comment your answer below this video so that we can give you points for doing a great job. That's it for today, kids. See you again next time. Hi, kids. This is Pastor Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes, our verse for today is Matthew 7, verse 7. Repeat after me. Say, Matthew... 7 verse 7 Very good. Now the song goes something like this. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew 7, 7 Ask and it will be given to you, seek, and you will find, knock. And it will be open to you, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew 7, 7. Ask, and it will be given to you, seek, and you will find, knock. And it will be open to you, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew 7, 7. Enjoy that, kids? I did too. Well, that's it for a memory verse song today. This is Pastora Armira. See you again next time. Hi, kids! 
Thank you again so much for being here with us at Everyday Jesus Today. And I hope that you learned a lot, especially in our Bible story review. We've learned all the things that God gives to us. He gives us strength. He gives us joy. He gives us peace. He gives us healing. And He gives us forgiveness. I hope that you will memorize all of those things. So right now, it's time for us to close in prayer. You still remember our three prayer requests? Very good job! Prayer request number one is always for our leaders, in the government and in the church alike, that God will always give them wisdom and understanding to make the best decisions for the people. Prayer request number two is always for our family, that God will always bless and prosper the work of their hands, and that every member of our family will always be blessed and provided for. And prayer request number three is your own prayer request. What do you want Jesus to do for you? Now you know that our prayer request for you is that you will always be fruitful and productive, a blessing to everyone around you, and always a good kid. So let's all do our prayer magnets and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this very wonderful day that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you've taught us this week. And we thank you for everything that you have given us and will continue to give us. Thank you for the joy, the peace, the healing, the strength, O oh Lord God, and everything that you will give to us. Thank you, Lord, as well, that you will give our leaders in the government and in the church wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. We also pray, Lord, for blessings to flow upon the work of the hands of our parents and that every member of our family will always be safe and provided for. Lord, we also pray that you will pour out your Spirit upon us. We pray for productivity and fruitfulness, that you will always be a blessing to everyone around us, and that you will always help us to be a good kid. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus is the best. Thank you so much, kids. Till next time here at Everyday Jesus.